So the balancing comes through Nabi, and Nabi looks after you and teaches you how to be. For example, now your left Nabi is Gralaj. Gralaj means the deity of the household. But if you are too much outward type, you are running a madras. Say early in the morning you get up, read the newspapers. Is again Sahaja Yoga again. Not to read newspapers in the morning time. You can read it in the night, but not in the morning. Because if you read it in the morning, you get upset. And pour this spleen has to pour in more uh, red blood corpuscles, and it becomes mad and crazy. On the contrary, in the morning, talk to your wife, talk to your children, look after your Guru Lakshmi. The wife has to be also Guru Lakshmi, as I told. Then you have your food properly, sit down and eat properly. But no, just after that upsetting that Navi, you jump into your car, taking your breakfast in your hand, eating on the way, honking at people, getting angry with them. The wife is calling, come along, you had no breakfast, nothing to eat. You are on your way on a special work. You end up with leukemia, at least, minimum of minimum, if not with heart attack. Leukemia comes from left Navi when your Guru Lakshmi is right. The deity of Guru Lakshmi is Fatima B, the daughter of Mohammed. While the daughter of the sister of Nanaksa is on the left now, left vision. We'll see that. Nanaki. Now, this aspect of life you never think about. When you get leukemia, then you will come to mother, please cure me. And if you are rich, you will see to it that I cure. That was. If I don't cure, you'll sit on my head. You'll bring ten cars on my head, unless and until I cure your feet, give me. But if I tell you, my son, you take it easy. Life is not for making wretchedness out of you. What have you gained out of all this running about? Nothing but this horrible left lobby by which you are suffering, your family people are suffering. Only person who has gained is the doctor, or the doctors, or the hospital. They won't listen. And you know leukemia is such a fast developing disease of cancer that one can pass out within one one month. Doctors will tell you. At the most you'll live for one month, that's all. They will take all the money to give you this certificate when I say. But why have that? Be patient with yourself, be kind to your Nabi, look after your courage. All kinds of diseases of the stomach come from this imbalance, this way or that way. All these great gurus came on this earth to give us balance, to teach us balance and tell us, don't do this and don't do that, all the Ten Commandments. But to us, these Ten Commandments have no meaning. Now I'll t touch a point which is very important today for you people to understand about non-vegetarianism and vegetarianism, because this subject I wanted to handle. Because if they are vegetarians, they can't bear to see that Mother says it doesn't matter if you are a non-vegetarian. Because it doesn't go against your awareness. It does not. Drinking does. Drinking does go against your awareness, but not eating meat or not eating meat. But one has to understand. Now somebody told me that in Gita it is written that uh, those who eat meat are, je, are the, uh, tamogunis. I am surprised at Gita itself because Sri Rama, uh, Sri Krishna himself in the very beginning has told Arjuna that you should go all out to kill all these people. Even your relations kill, actually kill human beings. Your relations and your guru also is to be killed because I have already killed. Nothing is going to be killed by you because they are already killed. 
and he gave so many explanations that it should not be done. But he said, no, I tell you, you have to go and kill. surrender yourself to me and I tell you. So how did he preach this ahimsa, I just don't understand, in Gita. Now this seems to be a new introduction that the people who eat are tamaguris, they are not. They are never, they are rajogunis. If you eat meat, you become rajogunis, not tamaguris. Tamogunis are the people who eat carbohydrates. We have seen it in Sajo. You have two types of diseases. One is lethargic organs and one is, uh, one is active organs. So those who are lethargic, having more, too much carbohydrates in them, and those who are overactive are having too much proteins in them. I mean, if you take proteins in the science, scientific way, Will you become lethargic? I mean, ask any doctor. And then the doctor says, Gita is all humbug because it doesn't understand what it is saying. And while you say like this, that we must follow Gita, I think somebody has gone wrong there and has written something wrong in Gita. They have written in the Bible, they have written in every book. I'll tell you what they have written wrong in Bible later on when it comes to Christ. I think they, 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 just some people have put it there, just wrong. Of course, if you eat too much meat, you get rajogunis. Then rajogunis become, as I have told you, right-sided people become very aggressive and they become ahankaris and they can harm. But the people who just eat grass can become lethargic, absolutely lethargic. They will have lethargic heart, if not active heart, they will also get heart attacks. And they will have lethargic intestines, by which they get tremendous all the time, passing out of the stools, they'll never be able to digest any food, they'll be very weak people. So those people who have a lethargic heart or a lethargic, uh, what you call the, a lethargic uh, liver or lethargic intestines should take to proteins. I'm not saying meat, but proteins. But a vegetarian doesn't take so much proteins, it's easier to take meat, there's no harm. But those who are active, people should take more to vegetables. It's sensible. Guru Nanaka ate all the meats, was he a bad man? These Marwaris who are supposed to be absolutely abstaining from even from Lassun and Pyas, was he worse than him there by any chance? What about Buddha himself, he ate meat? because he died of eating raw meat himself. Only thing, you should not eat the meat of animals which are bigger than you and not of a cow which is an Indian cow, especially Indian cow. Also bigger cows are not good because they give you a problem for the teeth. But smaller animals, even when I, I read Jaina, Jainism, they said that uh, the we must say uh, the bullocks, the cows, and you must say uh, other animals, but they never said you must say uh, goats and you must say chickens, because Mahavira knew we cannot give realization to chickens. What is the use of saving chickens and mosquitoes and also bugs? Of course, they are doing like that. Some Jain people save bugs and put it on a human being and uh, they <laughs> take the blood of those human beings and they are paid for it. It's absurd, but they do it. For them bugs are more important than human beings. Billions and billions of bugs cannot make a human being. All these absurd ideas we have in this country. So when I say you have not to be a vegetarian or non-vegetarian, you have to see what you need and eat that. But all the time your attention is in food itself is wrong. So there is no good in you people getting into these problems of vegetarianism and non-vegetarianism. Of course in the Western country people should take to vegetarian food, not absolutely but more than what they have while the people who are in India, who are vegetarians, will have to later on take, otherwise they'll have lethargic heart, 
I'll cure them once again, they will have problem. Then they will have to go for a bypass. Save money there. You cannot. You will have lethargic intestines. Then you will have lethargic liver. You will have all kinds of uh, what you call uh, cirrhosis or maybe on the hand you might get all kinds of uh, rashes and things like that, allergies. All these problems will come. And then ultimately such people look so peaceful because, you see, they, they are like cabbages, you see. Yeah. If somebody is like a cabbage, then how do you give him a realization? You can't give realization to cabbages, can you? We have to have here chivalrous people, brave people, warriors. We have to fight the evil forces. And what can these people who are cabbages going to do for it? One has to understand the athart, the reality, and not to put your conception, because you are born in a Jain family and that's why you want everybody to eat grass is wrong. Is wrong. The one who has to eat protein must eat protein. Now what is the food for sattvic people? That much. You can't live with it. So what I eat? Chana. Can you live with chana? It's protein. Chana, or you can eat meat, but not very heavy meats, lean meats, and ghee. And what I eat the most is honey. That's my food. Honey I eat, you know that. Honey I drink. That's. But you can't live with that, can you? <coughs> so you have to eat little carbohydrates, it doesn't matter. But you balance yourself in knowledge. But there should be no attention on food at all. Actually, if you ask me what I ate in the morning, I won't be able to tell you, really. I'm very bad. Because I have no attention on it. Whatever one gets, eat it and you don't feel like eating, don't eat it. What's so important is to enjoy every moment of your life. 